thought that I had a fan. Oh, hey, any 10 o'clock, got a flight out. Yeah, I'm going back out to Japan. I got two Billy truck and a bitch of door with a land. Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. Batman, I'm best man. I got my best man. I got my. I go to hotels when I step out. Yeah, your boy got a door, man. I go to nightclubs with a. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Arizona Cardinals and the Dallas Cowboys. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Try and start this drive in the air. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Gibson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in. Enemy territory. Back to back good plays have them on the move Detroit! on first down. Detroit! They'll run with Marshall. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Now Marshall. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It'll be a loss of one, and they're going to face a third down. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! He'll drop to throw. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. 
Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing gun, but room to run. Gun, gun! Detroit! Detroit! They're going to look to throw. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First down carry by Elliott. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Cole. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Ah! On first down, he'll drop to throw. This one is down he goes. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop and it can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Uh, Typically a blitz. Green, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have to contend with a third and 13. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Try to lay one up deep. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. Hey, a sidebar worth noting is that preseason cuts have changed. So week three that we're in right now, the preseason, what would you say, the roster is going to stay at 90 instead of going down to 75 this year? That's exactly right, Brandon, because in the past, just what you said, this game here at the end of week three or game three, you would cut the roster down to 75 and play game four just like that. In this case now, though, they're going to be able to keep guys all the way through. So guys who would normally not have a chance to finish out the preseason, they'll get that chance now and get more opportunities to get on tape. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Back to throw now on second and 10. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. 
And they work this well upfield across the 45. A very solid gain of 27. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Back to back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on him. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think a Cardinal was able to gain possession, yes. So they will hold on to the ball. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. So make some room next to Tom Dempsey on the NFL's all-time field goal distance leaderboard. That's going to go down officially as a 63-yarder. Let's not forget about David Akers, Jason Elam, and Sebastian Janikowski, too. So now Matt Prater is 64. He's got a little bit of company up near the top spot. That was one heck of a kick right there. And now Dallas gets set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now it's a Jai. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle, doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. First throw now for the backup, Bortles. And the reception made by Dante Moncrief. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And that one results in 35 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first and 10, here's Bortles. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Dante Moncrief that time. And that'll bring up second down. By the way, as we expected, most of the starting units out here in the second quarter. So get your two deep, your three deep, your four deep ready for this one. If you have a particular favorite who wasn't a high draft pick or is an undrafted free agent trying to make the team, this is the time to watch him play and give it his best shot because most of the starters, you're exactly right. They'll be out of the game watching the rest of the way. 
Here's Bortles to throw. And now look at him go. The 40. He's at the 30. 10. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Kevin Hart to relax. Oh, tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. What? Tell me something I don't know. Like when it's.